It's time for 5-Minute Advice for Authors, brought to you by Twin Flame Studios. Hi, everyone. My name is Ahe Sun. I'm the author of Coaching A to Z, the extraordinary use of ordinary words, now available in six different languages, including Japanese as the most recent one. And I'm sitting with my two dogs here. And that's mostly what I do throughout the day. Other than I also do, I'm a researcher and communication scientist. I think for me, I was really hoping that my readers will use the book. And I love when people highlight, I don't know what type you are, highlighter. And there are people who underline and people who also dog ear. And also some people make notes or use post-its. And that's the point. I really hope that people use it because this book is written so that this will transform the way that you converse with people who are important in your lives first. So at home, at work, maybe at schools, how do we actually have conversations a little bit more and a little bit better? So that was my hope when I was reading this book. And it's actually um, done it in a way. It's called A to Z because it's a lexicographic way of... Um, using small words in a very special way. So it's literally from A to Z, for example, A for already. How do we use this small word already in a special way? And Z or zero, how can we use this word zero actually in a special way in conversations? So my hope is that people will learn how to use these ordinary words in special way to transform their conversations. Advice that I have for those who are thinking about writing a book. First of all, know that you have a story to tell. And it's about telling your story. And second is, who are you telling it to? I think many of us actually, we think about what are you going to write? What are you going to write? But then it's actually, who am I writing for? So this project began for me in 2014, actually, as a business book. And then it didn't really start until 2020 when my father passed away. So I started to write this book as a way of grieving, and it became a storybook. His story, our story, and now my story to tell. So this was a story that I was telling people that I love and who knew my dad. And framing it that way really got me writing. So thinking about who are you writing it for? Like, who is it for? And then I think many times when I felt stuck, I realized that, oh, I'm going to wait until the inspiration comes. It it doesn't come. The quality comes from quantity. So for me, sitting down and just writing 100 words, it could be gibberish, but just write. And one advice that I got from another author was actually this. When you feel stuck, simply use a heading that says, here's what I'm trying to write, and then just start writing. So you're not really thinking about, oh, is, is, does it sound you know nice and all those things? But here's what I'm trying to write and start writing. Uh, I would say 80% of what I wrote with that heading actually made it into the book. So those are my advice for those who are thinking about writing a book. And good luck. Oh, there are so many favorite moments actually writing and making this audiobook with uh, the studio. Because people that I was working with, they were actually pretty hilarious. <laughs> so I remember they made me feel so comfortable because they would make comments like, what did you eat? Because I, I can hear your, your stomach crumble. <laughs> that was hilarious. But other than that, really, it was so professionally done. And sometimes I will stumble and they're like, it's okay. And just go back and start from here. And really, it was so easy to work with them. And they warned me, the first time you hear your voice reading your book, you know, it will be kind of weird. It's okay. And all those small things that they did throughout, that really, com- like, that made me feel very comfortable working uh, within my own, um, with my own content, with my own voice. And especially this was very special because that, this was uh, um, my story that I wanted to tell people. And now I'm reading it as stories should be told. So entire experience, actually, making an audiobook, I think a lot of it was because I was guided by uh, the studio staff who just know what they're doing. So I cannot thank enough, really. So thank you so much for supporting me to do this. Thanks for joining us on 5-Minute Advice for Authors. 
Remember to like, follow, and subscribe for more and visit us at TwinFlamesStudios.com.